<laughs> hey, what is going on, crypto people? So listen, the market is doing what the market does. We'll go over the numbers. I got to give a big shout out to uh, Crypto Eddie. She shared um, a platform that we shared with you guys uh, last night as well as Mo A Finance. I think is what they're calling it. Look, utility to the digital asset XRP. We're going to get into it. I'm going to cover a very, very interesting post on X from Bill Morgan. It's important to understand what's going on. We, we are all excited about Flare Networks and what's going to happen. But we got to pay attention to what is happening in terms of use case for the greatest digital asset ever created, XRP, and perhaps the greatest blockchain to ever be created in the XRPL. All right, guys, so listen, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in around <laughs> zero to 10 minutes. Let's do it. So according to CoinGecko, the total cryptocurrency market cap is 43,803. What am I saying? The total cryptocurrency market cap is 1.67 trillion. And that doesn't seem like that is accurate. What's going on here on my uh, thing? Let me refresh this real quick. It seems like this Chrome browser. Goodness gracious. All right. Yeah, it wasn't correct. So the total cryptocurrency market cap is 1.67 trillion down from an all-time high of over $3 trillion for all the new people in the back. The Bitcoin dominance is at 51.4%, which means there isn't an alt season happening. There, there isn't a bull run. When you, when you start to see the Bitcoin dominance get to 60% and beyond, then you could say, oh my goodness, we, we get ready to have an alt season. Until then, no. Not the case. It's just not the case. Case. All right. Bitcoin is trading $43,800. It's up 16% on the seven day. Fascinating. Ethereum is trading at $2,258. Man, I'm about to buy this NFT. It's half an ETH, man. It's half an ETH. I don't know. I feel like I want to get it. I feel like this is an exciting new project, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, XRP is trading at 63 Freaking sense. There it is, fam. The market. You know, it's just doing what the freaking market does. I got out of my avalanche position because um, I wasn't in AVX. I was in an ecosystem of a token in the ecosystem. <sighs> yeah, I didn't get into AV. Uh, I didn't get into AVAX. 28% on a seven day is pretty cool. I'm, I'm looking good into the next. Um, the next run that's going to happen, and I believe it's going to happen in AVAX and Solana, uh, I took the bet on Chainlink. I took the bet on Chainlink. So we'll see. That's why I took the bet. I took the bet on Chainlink. Obviously, a little bit of a lower market cap, but um, where's Chainlink and Avalanche? That kind of neck and neck right there, about the same. I took the bet on Chainlink, and then I'll, I'll reallocate later into the mid cap. So there it is there, fam. The market is just doing what the market does. Let me get this little post from uh, from uh, Bill Morgan. It's hugely, hugely to understand this. And Mr. Huber retweeted and responded. Bill Morgan said, the release by Ripple of XRP from escrow each month gives an inflation rate in respect of the circulating supply of about 6% per annum. It is comparable to Solana's current inflation. All right, let me see something here. That's not it. Uh, Crippling Rider, that's a good one also. All right, let's go back here. Let's see. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, that's what I wanted. There is no incentive to hold the token, says Mr. Huber. They neither generate yield nor do they give you rights. And unlike Bitcoin, XRP is suitable as a means of payment. Buy and sell quickly. And this is not criticism by any means. It's quite the opposite. Panos goes on to say this is changing soon with the AMM and the EVM sidechain and hooks and the FX. RP, minting F assets, minting XRP on Flare Networks, right? From 2024 and beyond, there will be plenty of reasons and incentives to hold 
and many ways to generate yield. And I agree with him on a lot of these things. Here's the challenge. The AMM is coming. The EVM sidechain is coming. Hooks is kind of here, but it, it's kind of here on the Zahao network. The minting of F assets is coming. It's not here yet. It's exciting to know that things are coming without question. But I share with you guys a platform that is here and that is doing some great things for XRP in terms of liquidity. So I want to share this for me real quick. And I think it's really important to kind of get what's going on. NFT Brew shares this. A friend messes me who has been away from Web3 space, from the Web3 space for a while. He said, I'm still confused about Futureverse and the root network. What are they doing? Here's my response. Futureverse are laying a foundation for the metaverse. The metaverse that they, we, the metaverse that we all imagine from the likes of Free Guy or Ready Player One. The state of crypto slaying NFTs wasn't ideal when it came to user onboarding, experience, and safety. So Futureverse built the root network. This is a layer one blockchain, which can integrate with both XRP for liquidity and the EVM, Ethereum with the bulk of NFT holders and smart contracts. The root network was built putting user experience first. Things will be simple and easy to do for users and developers. Users can opt for different levels of asset ownership and will be able to move their content through different games and applications. Applications, genius emotion. Users won't need to know about gas or crypto or NFTs. They'll just be able to play games and take their skins or characters between them. Developers will be able to build on top of the tools and protocols and connect between applications seamlessly. Now that they have built the foundations, they're starting to use Futureverse content to showcase, showcase how this tech works. Think Fluff World. The Next Legends, ATM Car. And I think the Next Legends is uh, the boxing thing. ATM Car Club, Altered State Machine was something that I was just really excited about. AI-powered NFTs. And you can increase the intelligence um, of these AI NFTs. Freaking, I made a mistake. Bad guys took my ass to tokens, man. It was brutal, brutal. And they're planning to do that by partnering with well-known big brands. The first example was the FIFA World Cup AI League, which has now had nearly 750,000 downloads and meant about and meant about 1 million NFTs minted. 1 million minted on XRP and Root. 1 million. This is the Root network. This is Futureverse. The Root network is their blockchain. More examples on the game front will begin to launch over the next few months, including Racers, which is uh, ASM, Gods and Goblins game. Uh, here it is right here. And, the po and possibly even the next Legends AI boxing. The plan with these launches is that they will hopefully attract a lot of users and even more brands and developers wanting to build on or connect the root network. One of my favorite games back in the day when I would play on gaming consoles was the boxing game. It was, such, it was really fun playing a boxing game. So I think an AI-type boxing is going to be genius in motion, in my humble opinion. Everybody likes boxing. I don't know people who don't like to do boxing. I could go further, I could go further and talk about the development fund and Accelerator, Born Ready Ventures and Born Ready uh, Base Camp, or the AI tools, which ASM, Altered State Machine, are developing and will help users build what they're imagining, or how Future Score and Quest, we shared this last night with you guys, can earn you root, or about a speculated partnership with Ready One with the Ready Player One writer and producer. But that de but that'll definitely keep you up all night. Hope things make a little more sense. Now, I read all of that to say this. If we want to participate in this next 
evolution in the digital asset space. It is going to require participation. We have to be hugely uh, careful of the old mentality of buying and holding. Now, I'm not suggesting that anyone should take 100% of anything that you hold and put it in one place, even if it's in utility. But I would kindly ask you to consider participating with this, you know, whatever percentage, 1%, half a percent, 2%, I don't know. You know, we say on this channel all the time, don't chase the game, not the game tongue to you. Now, here's Moy Finance here. This is my first entry into Moy Finance. You can see that it's it's a, about a hundred bucks, right? Because the platform has to still prove itself, security, usability, UI, UX, all of that. So I put a small amount in, but I participated. I participated, right? Here's one of the cool things that I love. And shout out to Crypto Eddie. I was glad she shared this um, as well. I saw her video this morning and she shared this. And I was I was able to share with you guys last night. Really, really excited about it. And that's just because I found out about this because I was just paying more attention to what's going on with the root network and Futureverse and came across this, right? And it's important to understand here, they got the connections. You can pick a network. You can pick the root network, which is what I did. You can pick the XRPL, which I'll be doing later today. And it looks like you can pick this EVM side chain, but obviously I don't, I don't think that's up and running yet. Here are the pools, which I thought was interesting. Uh, it's an XRP and root. Pool. There's an XRP and Astro pool. There's an XRP and Silo pool. There's an XRP and USDC pool. It's a medium medium article here. That uh, Moe. I'm calling them Moe. I don't know what else to call them. Is it Moa? <laughs> uh, Moe Finance launches this, launches on Futureverse, the root network. It is here. We are thrilled to announce that Moy Finance is now launching on route within the vibrant, vibrant Futureverse eco. Moy Finance is set to enrich Futureverse with an array of DeFi functionalities, including earnings, swaps, launchpad services, lending, and more. Launchpad service, I think, is going to be really, really good. Uh, launchpads are massively are it's, it's kind of like a sub narrative, if you will. These launchpads, especially if they come with an associated token. Uh, to them. I think it's going to be huge. Um, without question, uh, they call themselves, Moe Finance calls themselves the uh, a DEX and DEX aggregator, which is I find interesting. But launch pads all over uh, Binance ecosystem, all over the Ethereum ecosystem. It will be really, really great to see them in the XRP ecosystem as well. So we are committed to contributing and strengthening the diverse eco that Futureverse has offered. Here it is right here. Moe, Moe Finance, a multi-chain DEX and DEX aggregator is primarily focused on the XRP ecosystem. Our aim is to address the issue of liquidity fragmentation, a challenge arising from the limited sharing of XRP between the XRPL and various side chains. As a comprehensive DeFi solution, Moe Finance offers integrated liquidity provision and an array of financial services, including earning, swapping, lending, and staking, fam, and staking. Again, I shared the pools with you. I shared, you know, my position, very, very small, uh, and, and, and we'll let this test out. Listen, we got... Um, uh, what is it? Who's doing it? Futureverse is doing a $5 million incentive program, $5 million in, uh, I guess, in the root token, $5 million. Uh, really, really excited about that. XRP is uh, in all of those pairs is absolutely exciting. I'm thinking about my next position. Do I do XRP Asto or one of these other cryptos or do I do USDC? Interesting APRs for all of these, 220%, 218%, 226%, 230%. So I'm just wondering, maybe I should go silo. I'll have to see. You know, kind of do a little, uh, I don't know if I want to add to this one or if I want to uh, do a stable with an XRP. We'll see. Let me know in the comments which one you think. 
uh, let me see, if I go click on this, it tells you how the APR is generated. All right, pool volume, 86,000. <laughs> I don't know if you've been in DeFi. 86,000? Uh, this is, you know, the qu quintessential early, right? Volume, 75,000 over the last 24 hours. Uh, APR, here it is here, 15.9% swap APR. 270% uh, MOE pre-mining APR, which pre-mining means that you're going to be rewarded in what they call VE. I forget what VE stands for anymore, but I know it's kind of like an escrow version of the token. Like there used to be VECRV curve. There used to be uh, VE, uh, uh, what's the other one? Convex, CVX, right? I was participating in those as well. So trading fee, 0.35%. 0.35% trading fee, okay? Providing liquidity trading fee, right? I'm going to go over the rewards real quick, and then I'm going to share you the root network, the other platform. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so um, what I want to share here, this is some different wallets. I don't know what says my, uh, my future purse, future verse wallet, Um 75, I don't know what that means. It ranks, so, oh, okay, so it's a ranking. So I'm ranking 75. I don't know how many there are, but there I am. With my little $100 ranking 75. <laughs> but look at the different, the number one ranking in terms of uh, this platform has 20,000 in an in liquidity pool. Another has 18, another has, now I'm curious how an 8,000 And LP volume is ranks third, and someone with twenty two thousand ranks fourth. Can I click on that and see? Like, how is that? How is that happening? Now I see this. This VE MOI is third, so it's based upon the the MOI. So this means that this person is strategically in a particular um, liquidity pool. That's what it would say to me. And in this particular liquidity pool he or she is probably getting most of the LP volume, right? Getting most of the LP volume. Let me know if that makes sense to you. Probably in a pool that is in, in which he's he or she is dominating that pool, whichever one it is, dominating the pool, probably this one. It's probably XRP Asto, my guess. Or maybe this person owns all of this pool here with XRP and silos. Only pool value is 18,000. And if you go to rewards, the number three person, 18,000. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. It, it, the volume is 18,000. So if you go to reward, it's 18,387. And you go to the pool and you go to his rewards, it's 18,387. And the pool is... 18,356. So it's probably, <laughs> he's getting 100% of the pool. He's getting 100% of it. That's kind of probably what this is. Maybe this is person started this pool. I don't know, but he owns all. That's that's what it feels like to me. It might be this one where it's 18% uh, is more than 50% of this pool, but that's what it seems like. Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the comments what you think there. Now, let me share the root network with you guys. Root network I'm excited about because all it's um you can stake your root tokens you can earn other tokens I really do like that um uh I don't want to do that I don't want to do that but yeah anyway I'm I'm gonna end it with this I'll I'll do the root network and staking on another video so guys are you participating is a big question the big question the big sixty four trillion dollar question is are you freaking participating you've been waiting to utilize your extra piece. We're all excited about Play Network when it launches, right? So we want to save some of that XRP <laughs> so we can participate there as well. But in the moment, we have an opportunity to participate, to be to be liquidity providers in, an, in, a, in a project that is dedicated to the digital asset XRP. Dedicated to it. And, you know, here's the challenge. You had two projects. One shows the XRPL to get started on with folks. Another one chose the root network to get started on. 
And that's just kind of almost how goes it. Uh, so, but anyway, I'm really, really ex excited for future projects coming to the XRPL, hopefully, or to the Zahao network. Hopefully they'll come sooner rather than later. But right now we got Moe Finance, app.moe-finance.xyz. Let me know if you want me to do future videos about this project. So I'm really um, excited about it. And obviously I'm learning more and more about it, but I wanted to do this video and provide liquidity as soon, as soon as humanly possible. I'm going to do a video using Crossmark um, as my wallet. Next one on the XRPL. We were providing liquidity that way. I provided liquidity using uh, MetaMask and the Ledger. <laughs> you know, MetaMask and the Ledger, this MetaMask was just kind of change to this network, change to that network. Yeah, yeah it was a pain in that. So uh, I'm going to do one with Crossmark and the XRPL as the network and tell you how smooth uh, that was, that MetaMask. Now, it, I think the biggest challenge probably with the MetaMask, in addition to it, keep asking me to switch every time I had the bridge over to the root network, you know, et cetera, et cetera, was, you know, the, you know, the, meta, the uh, ledger confirmations. That was the biggest challenge. All these ledger confirmations and switching back and forth. I'm again, kind of constantly dealing with a ledger. You know, that kind of stuff. So in any case, I'm excited about the Root Network. I'm excited that I did stake some Root tokens, but I'm really, really excited about Mo Finance being on the Root Network. I'm really, really excited about that with four XRP pairs. First moves of banners can be massive. You know, being that first DEX, being that first lending protocol, it can be massive on a game changing layer one network that is the root network do you understand what i'm saying it could be it could be game changing life changing are you participating is my 64 trillion dollar question to each and every one of you listen guys this wraps up your xrp ripple daily news in around zero to ten minutes i've been rambling long enough i hope that it has been of value to you if it has do me a favor and hit that like button and if you've been hanging out watching the Crypto Seas and you've enjoyed those hangouts, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, we're already winning. I would ask you to ponder this idea, perhaps consider and ponder the idea of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.